Praise Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day you have given us. Today we are going to read your heavenly verse. Make us understand the verse which we are going to read now. Be with us from the beginning till the end. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Now let us read 2 Samuel chapter 20. And there happened to be there a worthless fellow whose name was Sheba, the son of Baikri, a Benjamite. And he blew a trumpet and said, We have no part in David, neither have we inheritance in the son of Jesse, every man to his tents, O Israel. So every man of Israel withdrew from following David and followed Sheba, the son of Baikri, but the men of Judah remained steadfast toward their king from the Jordan even to Jerusalem. And David came to his house at Jerusalem, and the king took the ten women, his concubines, whom he had left to keep the house, and put them in confinement, and fed them, but went not in unto them. So they were shut up unto the day of their death, living in widowhood. Then said the king of Amsa, Assemble the men of Judah within three days, and be though you are also present. So Amsa went to assemble the men of Judah, but he tarried longer than the set time which he had appointed him. And David said to Abishai, Now shall Sheba the son of Baikri do us more harm than did Absalom. Take though thy Lord's servant and pursue after him, lest he get for himself fortified cities and escape us. And there went out after him Joab's men, and the Cheretites, and the Pelatites, and all the mighty men. And, all, and they went out of Jerusalem to pursue after Sheba, the son of Baikri. When they were at the great stone, which is in the Gibeon, Hamsa went before them, and Joab's garment that he had put on was great unto him, and upon it a belt, with a sword fastened up upon his loins in his sheath, and as he went forth, it fell out. And Joab said to Absa, Art thou in health, my brother? And Joab took Amsa by the beard with the right hand to kiss him. And Amsa took no heed to the sword that was in Joab's hand, so he smote him with it in the fifth rib and shed out his inward parts to the ground and stuck him not again and he died. So Joab and Abishai his brother pursued Sheba the son of Baikri. And one of Joab's men stood by him and said, He who favoreth Joab and he who is for David, let him go after Joab. And Amsa wallowed it in his own blood in the center of the highway and when the man saw that all the people stood still he removed Amsa out of the highway into the field and cast a cloth upon him when he saw that everyone was came by him kept standing there when he was removed out of the highway all the people went on after Joab to pursue Sheba the son of Baikri and he went through all the tribes of Israel unto Abel and and to Bethmacha and all the Berites and they were gathered together and went also after him and they came and beside him in Abel of Bethmacha and they cast up a mound against the city and it stood in the rampart and all the people who were with Joab battered the wall to throw it down then cried a wise woman out of the city, year, year, say, I pray you unto Joab, come near, year, that I may speak with thee. And when he was come near unto her, the woman said, Art thou Joab? And he answered, I am he. Then she said unto her, Hear the words of thine handmaid. And he answered, I do hear. Then she spoke, saying, They were to speak in olden times, saying, they shall surely ask counsel at Abel, and so they ended the matter. I am one of them who are peaceable and faithful in Israel, though seekest to destroy a city and a mother in Israel. 
why will thou dwell up the inheritance of the lord and joab answered and said far be it for be in from me that i should swallow or destroy and matter is not so but a man of mount ephraim sheba the son of bigri said by name hath lifted up his hand against the king even against david deliver him only and i will depart from the city and the women said unto joab behold his head shall be thrown to thee over the wall then the women went up unto all the people in a wisdom and they cut off the head of sheba the son of bigri and cast it out to joab and he blew a trumpet and they retired from the city every man to his tent and joab returned to jerusalem unto the king now joab was over all the host of israel and and benaiah the son of jehoiada was over the charietites and over the pheletites and adoram was over the forced labor and jehoshaphat the son of ahiloth was recorder and shiva was scribe and zadok and abiathar were the priest and ira the jairite was a chief assistant to david amen now let us read second peter chapter 3 the second epistle beloved i now write up unto you in both of which i stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the lord and savior knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of god the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water by which the world that then was being overflowed with water perished but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and prediction of ungodly men but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day in with the lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day and the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering toward us not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are in it shall be burnt up seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved that manner of persons oath ye to in all holy living and godliness looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of god in which the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervor and heat nevertheless we according to his promise look for now heavens and a new earth in which dwelleth righteousness wherefore beloved seeing that ye looketh for such things be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless and account that long suffering of our lord is salvation even as our beloved brother paul also according to the wisdom given unto him hath written unto you as also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understand which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction ye therefore beloved seeing that ye know these things before beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wickedness fall from your own steadfastness but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ to him be glory both now and forever amen now let us read second chronicles chapter 14 verses 7 to 15 therefore he said unto juda 
Let us build these cities and make about them walls and towers, gates and bars, while the land is yet before us, because we have sought the Lord our God, we have sought him, and he hath given us rest on every side, so they built and prospered. And Asa, as an army of men who bore bucklets and spears, out of Judah three hundred thousand men, and out of Benjamin who bore shields and drew bows, Two hundred and fourscore thousand, all these were mighty men of valor. And there came out against them Zera the Ethiopian with an host of a million and three hundred chariots and came in unto Meresha. And Asa had an army of men who bore bucklers and spears out of Judah there hundred thousand and out of Benjamin who bore shields and drew bows two hundred and fourscore thousand all these were mighty men of valor and there came out against them Zera the Ethiopian with an host of a million and a three hundred chariots and came unto Meresha then Asa went out against them, and they set the battle in array in the valley of Zepata at Meresha. And Asa cried unto the Lord his God, and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them who are no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee, and in thy name we go against this multitude, O Lord, thou art our God, let not man prevail against thee. So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. And Asa and the people who were with him pursued them unto Gerar, and the Ethiopians were overthrown that they could not recover themselves, for they were destroyed before the Lord and before his host, and they carried away very much spoil. And they smote all the cities round about Gerar, for the fear of the Lord came upon them, and they spoiled all the cities, for there was very much spoil in them. They smote also the tents of cattle, and carried away ship and camels in abundance, and returned to Jerusalem. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us to read your heavenly words. And thank you for making us understand the words which we have read today. Make it a blessing for the people who are going to hear it. Be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. God bless you.